This is Twit. Something went, something went very, very Hor- wrong. Horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. And they pushed an update. They call it a sensor. A sensor configuration update. They So I remember this from when, when we talked to the CTO at CrowdStrike, who's a little busy right now. <laughs> but he said what we have is sensors in all these computers, all our customers, that are constantly monitoring for uh, malicious traffic. And, and, and that gives them an advantage... So everybody who has Windows and, and is a CrowdStrike customer is kind of reporting back in mm-hmm. as malicious stuff happens on the Internet. Well, they released a, a sensor configuration on July 19th at 4.09 UTC. At 4.10 UTC... Ooh. The world came to a standstill. <laughs> Windows machines in Australia began crashing. Blue screen of Blue death. Blue screens of death everywhere. And then it slowly, <laughs> as the dawn, as the day dawned across the globe, spread everywhere. Airlines were down. In fact, I love the pictures. Did you see some of the pictures of blue screens of death on the Las Vegas Sphere? Wow. Blue screens of death at airports. Blue screens of death everywhere. Microsoft says CrowdStrike only, only is on 15 million Windows PCs. So this only affected 15 million Windows PCs. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Except it was the it was the window the PCs that it affected <laughs> were the biggest most Actually, important ones. I take it back. Eight point five million windows. So that's nothing. Except it was the ones that run the airlines. Amazon said that there may be package delays because of this. Uh, Kaiser Permanente said that they were having issues because of this. Yeah, maybe it's not everybody's everyday PC, but it were it was the PC of many an important uh, a system or or group, and it's kind of wild what it came down to, which was. From my understanding of kind of reading through, and, and perhaps you have even a uh, better way to grok this, but essentially the update suggested that the system looks into a place in the code that is a place in memory that is reserved and not to be looked into. And any time it is looked into, then what Windows does to protect itself from a malicious actor is implode. Normally what happens when something like that happens, uh, because they exist outside of the, the system protected files, is it just crashes the program. Right. But because CrowdStrike has access to the system and it referenced this place in memory, then it had to crash the entire system, not just the program itself. It's really, um, yeah. So this is the problem with security software in general is it often operates at a lower level, what we call ring zero. If you're not at ring zero, you can't crash the system. Mm-hmm. If you are at ring zero, you can. You can. And so CrowdStrike sensors were, the fix eh, wasn't that complicated. You just had to reboot the machine into safe mode mm-hmm. so it wouldn't load that sensor and to delete some a, a file from the CrowdStrike directory, except that you had to do that. At the command line, right? To every machine. Well, yeah, I mean, you could do it in the, in the file explorer if you wanted, but you had to do it to every machine in your enterprise. Uh, I don't know uh, if you know A. D- A. Da Costa, who is in our uh, Twit social on our Mastodon instance. Just ended my second overtime shift thanks to CrowdStrike today. What I have learned these past two days is primitive modern operating systems like Windows remain. No so called AI could fix. This was a boots on the ground effort. My legs and feet hurt so bad. Poor A. DaCosta had to go from machine to machine to machine doing the same thing over and over and over again. Going back to my point, the recovery tools in Windows are trash and can't do anything useful. A lot of this required using, yeah, command line operations to speed up deleting the corrupt file that was triggering the blue screen. And he, he goes on um, with a, a lot of information. And actually, thank you for posting this in our Twit social uh, a da Costa, and you have my deepest sympathies. Many, many, many of our listeners uh, have been working overtime. A lot of them work in IT. Uh, I almost, I almost went live uh, on Thursday. I thought, boy, we really, or was it Friday? We should really cover this. 
But uh, I just, my studio wasn't set up yeah. in the attic yet, and I just wasn't ready to do that. But next time, <laughs> and there will be a next time. Now, Tuesday, Steve will talk about this in greater detail, I'm sure. Microsoft says, well, it's not our fault. It's CrowdStrike's fault. And that's actually true. It, I mean, yeah, genuinely. In fact, Microsoft has now released, uh, they say, a USB key that will do the fix automatically. You plug it in, it loads, fixes things, and goes away. Hmm. Uh, so that if you are an IT professional, you might want to look into that. Um, there's so much time Windows wastes BSODing, <laughs> that blue screen of death thing, says DaCosta. Until it finally decides to load recovery, Windows should have common sense to know a foreign third-party file, not a Windows system file, is doing something bad. Instead of showing my dumb boop blue screen with a smiley, by the way, <laughs> yeah, insult that's injury, annoying. Yeah, why not deleting the stupid effing csh.sys <laughs> file and see what happens? And guess. Uh, anyway, he's a lot more swearing. Uh, I don't blame me at all. Blame him at all. Um, couple of notes I got. I got from one guy saying it's interesting because the shorts on CrowdStrike's stock went through the roof two days before this, as if somebody might have known this. Okay, was that's weird. Happen. That's weird. Conspiracy theory, maybe. Uh, the other thing I will point out is the CEO of CrowdStrike, <laughs> back in the day, was the CEO of McAfee, which did the same thing, CTO at McAfee, did the same thing, pushed out an update that brought Windows machines down all over the world. Yikes. So he's got practice at this? I don't know. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it, it's, it shows a number of problems. People with Macs and uh, Linux systems had no problem. But don't go, oh, yeah, see, we're better. Because that could happen to you, exactly. too. Exactly. There could be some push that goes yeah. out. And the, it makes me think of when Rivian uh, pushed out a software update over the air. Yeah. And then cars were unable to be started. That's the thing. These mission, whether it's mission critical in terms of a, you know, a, a, a hospital. Holy or morning. it's mission critical in terms of I need to get to work in the morning. And now I have to have my car towed to the dealership to get this fix done because a, a, a push happened. That's wild to me. And it makes me never want to turn on automatic updates on stuff. Yeah. Because it's like, well, I'll let, what is it? Uh, uh, let let the first person go before I do. I, I can't think of the, the phrase for that, but yeah. yeah. Someone else take the step and yes. then I'll follow. Yes. You go over the hill, gentlemen. I'll be right back here watching. Um, anyway, a terrible thing. I guess, uh, you know, you could take, there's a lot of uh, morals, pe you know, people took away from this, a lot of lessons that I don't know if, if they're valuable, like, right. uh, well, we should be using Mac or Linux. No, Uh Oh, look how interdependent we are. It is true. I have to say, when you have everybody using the same operating system, you kind of have a problem. You know who didn't have a problem? Who? Delta went down. American Airlines went down. Southwest Airlines didn't go down. You know why? Because they use Linux? I don't know Windows why. Windows 3.1. Oh. Oh. Windows. Now, I know that uh, Steve Gibson's going to take a victory lap on this one. <laughs> <laughs> they use Windows 3.1 and Windows 95, both of which are not being updated for security, right? But, so you don't get any pushed updates. This is, okay. You don't get any pushed updates. And what they're saying is, well, it's stable. It's operating. It's stable and, until you get hacked. Well, I presume they have uh, defenses around it, that it's not just connected directly to the internet. I guess, yeah, if you're mission critical, so, yeah, I don't yeah. know. That's, it, it's, I thought it's that thought. was kind of interesting. I'm not sure. Again, I don't think that's the lesson to be learned here is that right. everybody should use Windows 3.1. But we are kind of in a monoculture, and everybody's using Windows 10 and Windows 11, and uh, apparently 8.5 million of you are using CrowdStrike. And I mean, yeah, I, I drive around a Flintstones car because then I don't have to worry about do you do it with going, your feet? Yeah, then yeah. I don't have to worry about any, rely on anything else, you know? There's nothing that can go wrong. See, we didn't have to, I didn't have to think about what the news of the week was. It was there. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. We'll be talking a lot about it for the next few days. Steve Gibson will be talking. But I don't think there's a whole lot we can learn from this really uh, yeah because this is just this like, kind don't of thing do happens that. this kind of thing happens and you know it whoever or whatever was responsible for it the company is going to be looking into it they'll figure it out they'll do better it, next time it is why i have often said and i know steve has often said we don't use antiviruses 
because for the same reason, and anti, and we've seen this happen with antiviruses. McAfee is one of them. They operate at such a low level. If something goes wrong with them, mm -hmm. that can really cause a, a big problem. And that's what we're seeing here. Uh, a, secure, a piece of security software you put on your system to protect you actually causing the problem. Now, I don't think that if you're an enterprise, you should not use security software. So, exactly. Again, not a great lesson, but maybe home users. You know, any viruses generally don't help. They mostly just get in the way. Yeah, it's more about what you do and right. how you That's are right. safe online. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. Hope you enjoyed this little snippet from Ask the Tech Guys. Of course, you can get the full show for free. Subscribe in your favorite podcast client uh, or visit our website, twit.tv slash ATG. You'll also find links right below this window right here. 